Hey there, welcome to the Happy Hookers Closet. My name is Nina. I have my first show of the season in less than a month. I have pulled out my storage bins. I'm trying to figure out what clothes I need to make for this upcoming season because to be 110%, looking at this pile of stuff, there's no theme, there's no consistency. It kind of just looks a hot mess. There's colorful stuff. It's uh, then there's black, then there's brown, and then there's more colors, then there's pastel. I need to hone it in and figure out what theme I'm going to be dealing with this season. What colors am I going to need? What colors am I going to use? Am I going to keep going with the rainbow colors and stuff that is really loud? Or am I going to tone it down a little bit? and maybe go more toward the neutral colors because I feel like I might be able to sell more with neutral colors. I have a lot of people asking me for black items that I don't have because I make all the colorful things. With that being said, I've kicked off this year's season making a black fishnet crop top. These are probably my best sellers. Yes, if you've noticed, I have not weaved in my ends yet. If you know me, you know that that's the worst part of the job of crocheting. Next, we have a very, very festive red, white, and blue 4th of July um, halter top. And it ties in the back here, as you can see. There we go. It's a halter. This one's pretty small. I sold the other halter the larger halter last season probably in like March um, so these are still pretty popular the halter tops um, oh election I guess time is coming up so maybe maybe this will one will be quick to fly off the shelf this is my rainbow pride halter top I've sold the smaller one, but I do, or I sold the larger one. I do still have the smaller one available here. Oh, I love this next one. This dress here, this granny square dress. Look how beautiful that is. And look at the colors. It's like a rose with its leaves. How beautiful is that? It also has little ruffles at the bottom. Super beautiful. This next one here is a granny square, black granny square crop top. This is for a smaller person. Yeah, I'd say a small medium. And that's what it looks like up close. It's kind of blending with me. Again, another granny square dress. This was, I think, the second granny square dress I made. This would be for a medium large. This one does not have the ruffles at the bottom. It's a little more plain. I love this dress. Look how cute that is. This here is a skirt that I made for a person of my size. So this is probably an XL, double XL. And it has a slit right here. It's kind of like a fishnetty at the bottom. And it came with a matching crop top. Let me see if I can find that. There's a matching, ha! Or not a matching crop top, a matching halter top. So it went like so like that. It's cute. Next item is another fishnet crop top. This was for a, a large to a double XL, I believe. Yes. Here we go. This one is white. Super cute. This is a lavender fishnet crop. This one is for a large to a double XL as well. It looks like one arm is longer than the other, but it's not. I know I counted these correctly. Huh, I'll have to figure out. All right, so I have some of these peekaboo tops um, that I made from Passion Knit Kelsey's um, patterns. 
Unfortunately, they're not the most popular and I thought these were gonna sell so quick. So I will probably put these on clearance. This is for somebody my size. They come out so cute, but I think people look at them and don't know if they'll be able to pull them off. And I'm like, man, they make your boobs look phenomenal. But, you know, maybe if I put a photo out with these on with some models, you know, put them out on my booth, maybe it'll sell. This is for a smaller person. These were like the very first ones that I had ever made. I thought, I think they're absolutely adorable, but, um, Maybe this season they'll sell, I don't know. I might market, or I might price, might drop the price on those ones. I also have these, these are the very first tops I ever made. I will drop the price on these for sure. This is for a person my size. This green one as well. This is perfect for St. Patrick's Day, guys. How stinking cute. And they fit well. This next one I think everybody's gonna love. This is my One Love Hexagon Cardigan. This, I make my hexagon cardigans with um, ruffle, or oh, what are these? Um, sleeves? What is this? I forgot what it's called. You know, wrist things, these. It just, I don't know. It holds the arms together better, I think. It's not so baggy on the arms when you do that. But, uh, I can't believe this one hasn't sold, but I do have it priced at 95. Um, I still think that I'm underpricing this one, but people who aren't crochet artists or aren't familiar with the crochet community think that that's overpriced. And I'm like, you're getting a deal, man. This thing will keep you toasty and it'll last you a really long time. This particular, uh, granny square sweater I have in one of my promo photos um, with me and my daughter it looks like I was selling it for 80 but look how cute oh, I love this one I love the colors get an up close and personal look love these colors I believe this next one is my very first granny square top and I'm not a big fan of the colors that I chose. These are actually my school colors. Gold, black and gold. Um, I would say a bumblebee. <laughs> Maybe was the inspiration, but I still like it, but I'll probably price this one down a little lower too. All these things I had last season and they didn't really sell. Everything else did sell though, so. I have next my children's cardigans these these are pretty popular here I asked I have these out but I have a lot of parents asking for custom orders of these because they want specific colors or it's for they want these colors but for a different size and then I also have this hexagon cardigan that my daughter was also wearing in the promo photo with the other granny square top that I was wearing. This is so adorable. I love these. And then I have, I think these are all kid ones now. This is another hexagon cardigan. I love these colors. Look how cute. Up close. These also have the sleeve thing adorbs I think I made this as a custom and then they never picked it up but it's complete oh it's oh yeah it's completed this one does not have the cuffs that's what they're called they're called cuffs this one does not have the cuffs this one was a custom that never got picked up I'll put that one out as well. Everything else is beanies. And they're all very colorful beanies. So I think I'm gonna make more neutral color beanies and without the little balls. So that's what I have. 
I do see a lot of color. So with that being said, I am going to be making more neutral colors this season. That's what I'm gonna focus on. More of like the rose pink and black um, brown, uh, like the tan colors. Um, yeah, and hopefully we could generate like more people into my booth. I have the colorful stuff. I'm gonna be making more dolls um, like these over here. I'll be making more dolls like these. These are definitely top notch, best number one sellers, these dolls. People love these. And they love to ask me to make relatives. So I'll probably make some with of kids, you know, blonde haired kids. This one is actually a prototype of my daughter. So kids with curly hair, kids with straight hair, you know, all of that. So with that being said, thank you for watching my unboxing of my storage stuff for the season. I want to make this season the season. So we got to get it together. I hope you guys have a great day, night, or whatever time you're watching this. It's all love here at the Happy Hookers Closet, and I'll chat with you guys later. Like, subscribe, comment, and share, please. Bye.